That is madness, bro. Oh man, that is crazy. That is absolutely insane, man. Yeah. Hey, dream team be rowdy. What? My team do a bliss every county. Look, my guy put a price in your past ahead, and I'm pulling up for the bounty. What? On the block with the water, they drowning. No mercy, my head is confounded. Yeah. My weapon is shake of the blood when they knocking the prophets don't miss when they sound it. <laughs> hey, my team rowdy. Yeah. My team do a bliss every county. Uh. My guy put a price in your past ahead, and I'm pulling up for the bounty. bounty On the bounty. block with the water, they drowning. Huh? No mercy, my head is confounded. Like what? My weapon is shake of the blood when they knocking the prophets don't miss <laughs> when they sound it. <laughs> Hello, yeah. What's your What's your name? James. King. Oh, that's a mighty name. That's a mighty name, right? What's your ethnicity? What's your nationality? American. American. Okay. Okay. What do? Okay. So, do you find the term? Can you find the term American in the Bible? Can you find like a race of people called Americans in the Bible? What do you find that? Like, what you mean, like? What, so what I'm trying to get into is that we don't really see these names, right? Lots, you know, people say oh, that they're African American. Yeah, like that, right? Uh, not really. But, you know, yeah, you don't really see that, right? So, why I feel you, right? So, we gotta ask ourselves, what did God call us? Did God call us African Americans or Black? Did He call us His names? What did God call us? Right? with the things that we've had to go through, right? Being brought here on slave ships, yeah. getting shot down in the streets and, and they getting away with it. How do you feel about all those things, right? You feel like that's a good thing? No, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing, right? No, that's not a good thing. Why, so why, why do these things only happen to us, though? We, we, don't, we don't see these things happen to the Chinese man, getting shot down, and, and, and you know, they say no justice, no peace. That's, that's things that we do, right? Yeah, you're right. Right. So the Bible actually has all the answers as, to, as far as why these things happen. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. I uh know. -huh. But it shall come to pass. So this is, uh, Mo are you familiar with Moses at all, any chance? Moses, okay, so Moses was the one that God orchestrated to lead Israel, because when the children of Israel were in Egypt, they were slaves to the Egyptians. So God raised him up to save them out of that condition, out of being slaves. So this is Moses right here talking to the children of Israel. I should just get that comment. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. So you get the this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So that's, the, so that's the context right there. I, everything that's proceeding out of Deuteronomy is Moses talking to the children of Israel. Right? So go back to 28, 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out! But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. Right, so Moses is saying to the children of Israel that we don't want to listen to God and, and do the things that he told us to do, his commandments, right? You know? And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses all these what all, all these, these curses, curses. Well, all these curses right read on shall come upon thee and overtake thee so it says that if we don't want if moses is saying to the children of israel if they don't want to listen to god and keep his commandments then all the curses are going to be put upon them right yeah. our curses now our curses are a good thing or a bad thing bad thing, bad thing right yeah. so 
But let's see some of the bad, because it's going to go down a list of different bad things that's going to happen to the children of Israel, right? And let's see if we can relate to that as a people. You can read the next verse. Curse shall thou, still like it. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So the, the first curse that it says to the is that the children of Israel are going to be cursed in the cities, right? So when you look at all across the globe, right? In the, the ghettos, you know, the slums, the trenches, what race of people live in those places? Right, Judah, right? The children of Israel, right? The so-called black people, the Spanish people, right? They live in those, they live in those bad neighborhoods, right? But they got all, you know, everybody else, the Caucasians, the you know, they, they live in the, the they live in like Coral Gables, Boca Raton, you know, all all these places that, that are rich, rich neighborhoods, right? Right, so that's that's a curse according to the Bible that, that would happen to us, right? Yeah. Right, read on. And curse shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shall thou be in the field. Now it says, now it says they're going to be cursed in the fields, right? So who was in the, the tobacco field, the cotton field, picking the cotton for the for the white man? Judah, right? That was our people, right? So that's another curse according to the Bible, and we can relate to that, right? We can relate to that. Like, this is Moses talking to the children of Israel, right? Let me get you another one. 30, 37. Yeah, 37. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 37. Uh -huh. no. And thou shalt become an astonishment, right. a proverb, right. and a byword uh -huh. among all nations, right. whether the Lord shall lead thee. So it says another person that we're going to become an astonishment, a proverb. A proverb is like a it's like a, a wise thing to, to make funny, right? So you know, they, they, a lot of people, they say that, oh, all we do is eat watermelon and fried chicken. Oh, we can't swim. We're lazy. We're lazy. You know what I'm saying? These are what is called proverbs in the Bible, right? And that, and, you know, we can, we can, that, we, that, that is effective. So that's what the other races are saying about us. Bring it out. out. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So another curse that says that is that we're going to serve our enemies, right? But let, let's see, like, what, it, what, it really, what it's really talking about here. Read on. In hunger. In what? In, in hunger. hunger. So it says we're going to serve our enemies in hunger. So what, what, do you, what do you want to get something to eat, right? Where, 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 what are some places that you get some stuff to eat at? Uh, like like food trees or, or food trees. The, the Caucasians, like, they, they're the ones that, that run these stores. They got these stores everywhere, right? So it says that we're going to have to serve our enemies, which our enemies in this country talking about everybody else. Right. So the enemies are talking about all the other nations. We're going to have to serve them for the things that we want to eat, right? You know? And hunger! Uh -huh. And in thirst! And in thirst, you want to get something to drink, you want to get some water, you want to get a Sprite or anything like that, you got to go to their stores. To get the things that we need, right? Get on. And in nakedness. You want to get clothes, right? You want to get the threes, right? You gotta go to you gotta go to their their stores to get these to get these shoes and clothing and everything like that, right? Get on. And in want of all things. In one of all things, you want you want to get a license, you want to get a passport, you want to get insurance. We gotta go to all their institutions, right, to get the things that we that we need to get. That's a curse, according to the Bible, right? And if we gotta go to them, and the Bible is talking about about us, then we can relate to this, right? Right, read on. It's going to get more into detail, right? And he shall put a yoke of iron around thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Right. Until he have destroyed thee. So another part that says he's going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck. So if you look at like old pictures of, of during like slavery time, right? We had the yoke of iron on our neck. They put the yoke of iron on our neck, right? To drag us to different places, right? And it says it's going to be put that on our neck to until we have been destroyed. So now we don't need the yoke of iron because we don't know who we are as a people, right? We don't know our nationality. So we have a yoke of iron on us, but it's spiritually against us because we don't know who we are. Uh, now go to verse, go to 54. 54. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 54. Read it out! If you got any questions or anything, just let me know, all right? All right. All right. So that the man 
that is tender among you uh -huh. and very delicate. Right. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. His eye shall be what? His eye right. shall, shall be, be evil toward his, his brother. brother. Right. So uh, another big thing within our culture is like black on black crime. Yeah. You know, here's, you know what I'm we got an evil eye towards one another, right? Yeah. You step on, step on our, our brother's shoes, right? Me mugging, step on our brother's shoes. So people be killing each other, right? Especially in, in, in all, all across these across the globe, like in, in, in Chicago, it's very big in Chicago, and uh, Baltimore, all these places, right? Black on black crime. That's a curse according to the Bible, man. That we have an evil eye towards one another. We see our people, we have nothing but anger and hatred towards one another, right? That's, that's a curse according to the Bible. Read right? you know? on. And toward the wife of his bosom. Right, even even with our, even with our, our, our girl that we might be with, right? We have a wife. A lot, a lot of domestic violence and stuff like that is, 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 is prominent in our culture, right? You see that? You see that Bible? The Bible, the Bible talks about that stuff, man. That's crazy, right? Like, you know. And toward the remnant of his children, uh -huh. which he shall lead. Which he shall what? Which he shall lead. Right, that's another way of thinking how we can identify with God. Did you grow up with your father? Chapter 28 and verse 68. Here you go. Know. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right, so now it's saying, most of the thing he's going to bring us into Egypt again. But give me a, uh, hold that, get Exodus 20. Exodus 20. Just when it's talking about Egypt, it's not talking about that specific land. Because in history, Israel never went back to Egypt. Um, so when it's talking about Egypt, it's talking about that condition. Because when the children of Israel were in Egypt, they were slaves. So, read that real quick. Exodus 20 from the 20 time. 20. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Bring it yeah. out! I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, read on. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage, meaning slavery. So when it's talking about Egypt and, and Deuteronomy, it's talking about that condition of being in slavery, yeah. right? So, so read it, read it, read Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it yeah. out! And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right, into Egypt again, but meaning slavery, right? Read on. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. It says with ships, right? So how did our people get here to America? Ships, right? That's out of the Bible. This is prophesied thousands and thousands of years ago. That would happen to the Israel, right? So it says it's going to bring us into slavery again, but it's going to be by ships. Right? Read on. By the way thereof. Excuse the lack here. By the way whereof. I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Right, so we're not going to see our homeland again, which is Jerusalem, it's Israel, right? Read on. And there right. ye shall be sold. Ye shall be what? And there, there ye, ye shall be sold. sold. So it says we're going to be sold, right? Read on. Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. So when we, were, when we got off the, the, the slave ships and we were sold, who were we sold to? What race of people? You can say it, but you don't got to be scared. Right, the white people, right? So what does the Bible call them? You, got, you said you're Judah, you're from the tribe of Judah. There's other tribes as well. So we're all a family, right? Yeah, Levi, which is the Haitians, um, and the Cubans, Gad, the Native Americans. All these are, are the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Yeah. So you know, you're from the tribe of Judah, I'm from the tribe of Judah as well. You're from the tribe of Levi, from the tribe of Benjamin, from the tribe of Levi. So we're all a family. We're all a family, according to the Bible, right? Yeah. So when it's talking about the enemies, it's talking, it's talking about, like we said, the white people that that. They, they were the ones that sold us into slavery. So the Bible called them our enemies, right? So we got enemies, right? We got enemies, right? All these other nations are our enemies. They, they do not care about us. They do not care about us, right? 
And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy uh -huh. for bond men, for slave men. and bond women. Slave women and no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy. When it says no man shall buy you, it's talking about no man, nobody's gonna redeem us, right? People have tried, you know, you got Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, you know, Marcus Garvey, they, all these people have tried to save our people, but we're still in the same position to this day. And nothing is gonna change in order to unless we come back and control So all the things that I went over, right? If we can relate to that as a people, and Moses is talking to the children of Israel, then what does that make us? I mean, that's something that happens. That's how we can identify to who we are, right? So we can relate to this, right? And really. what, what you mean? I mean, we, I mean, it could, but not really. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that that's who we are, yeah. but that's happened. That's something that we, that as a people, we experience that. Yeah. So if we can relate to that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. was talking to Israel, then what does that make us? No, man, I don't know what. what I mean. it, it would make us a children of Israel, right? That's what it would make us. Yeah, so yeah. we can relate to that. If Moses was talking to Israel. We relate to that, though. Yeah, but that, that, that just shows you that this is who we are in the Bible. Yeah. That we're the Israelites. We're not you're not a, you're not an American. I'm not an African American, right? We're not Haitian. We're not Jamaican. We're the children of Israel according to the Bible. God! And in order for these, these things to, to in order for us to to to, to be on, on top again, we have to keep God's commandments. So let me show you some commandments that you can keep, right? Because you know, in order for us to love God, to know God is we have to keep his commandments, right? So do you be working on anybody? Any questions? Uh, we've been conquered more than known. You said you've been conquered more than the other ones? Yeah, we you actually are one of them. Can you prove that? Yeah, actually, yeah. Can you prove it? How about you prove that? You got your eyebrows pulled up. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Bring it out! And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. And the swine. The swine is talking about the pork, right? You know? Yeah, the, we don't eat swine. So, he divide the hoof. Uh -huh. And be cloven footed. Right. Yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to, to you. you. So the pork, the pig, all, all that's the bacon, all that unclean. Come on, bro. I'm talking to him. 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 I'm
So we, we pray and hope that that brother was, was listening and, and, and he's going to do the research on his own, man. And understand that that guy that drew him away is, that, is actually the Straight. devil according to the Bible. Straight, Straight man. Straight man. Yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire This word gon' take us